Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new video and this time I want to talk about the brushes that I'm, use, I'm using. So, this is a question that came to my channel a couple of times recently and I just uh, wanted to do a video to explain what brushes I do and uh, what brushes I'm using and why I'm using these brushes. So, mainly brushes I'm using are the Artificer brushes from Genge Workshop and I work normally between the XS and the M. Uh, I don't know exactly what is the equivalence in points. These two are quite used now. I've been using them I think for about a year or something like that and I have to be fair I don't have a very uh, strong routine on maintenance. I like to uh, I use them. Uh, I, the only thing is I always have clean water or almost clean water with me so I can put them on clean water and I like to have uh, some in reserve, so I also here I have so no, these are completely new that I just purchased. So these are the brushes I like to use. I tried other brushes in the past, and to be fair, I was not happy with them. I don't know if it was me, uh, but they were uh, splitting very easily. Uh, the tip was losing the the. The, yeah, I was losing the tip, uh, the fine tip, and I, I was quite pissed off. So I feel very comfortable with that. And I have to say before, I was using uh, Citadel brushes, and as you can see, I still using this brush, for example. This is Citadel, the yellow one. So these were quite good. And yeah, of course, I bought some of these since they launched. I, I, I still have them. Uh, they are not at the best condition because I use them a lot but I'm still happy how they perform and I think I will keep using the the, the artificial brushes I think they are quite a good brushes uh, I still have as well some fine detail brushes but this is quite damaged now but these are the brushes I use normally the other product I want to talk about this is quite a, I just ordered a new bottle is Rebel Paint Clean and I use this when a, a brush is really damaged because of vibe brush or when a brush is really uh, stiff because I, I, used, I used the vibe brush or was not cleaned properly. I put the brush here inside and uh, it's quite solving the problem. So it really cleans. As you can see now, this is quite used and the liquid is brown completely. Uh, I just ordered a new bottle, but it's a product that I, I like it, so I think it's what I will not put my best brushes inside of this thing. I think maybe it's too aggressive and can damage the brush, but for these dry brushes that have a lot of paint accumulated or this when when the paint this really solves the play and dissolve the paint and it's quite working. The other product I use to clean is uh, a soap. Um, a type of uh, bar soap product it's called brush cleaner and uh, the master brush cleaner and it's like a soap a solid soap soap bar where you I, I just um, go with my brush inside and I, I, I use it to clean so I use this for more uh, normally what you do is especially when you have finished you take some clean water and you just do like that Okay. Then of course you have to rinse. You, okay, you have this, and then I was not using this brush. Was just for example, and then you rinse back in the pot. Okay, this soap is quite gentle. Uh, it's I don't have the feeling that it's damaging the brush. Uh, but you have to be more patient to clean it. And it's working, to be fair. If you don't have that, in the past I was using just a regular hand wash uh, soap bar. Okay, but you have uh, you have to use it in the... And it's working, so if you're doing this movement, uh, regular, if you do that, and the brush is really bad, when you do that, you will see that the paint is getting out of the brush. Okay, so these are... Just a short video to talk about brushes and what are the brushes I use and and to be fair I'm happy with that when I need to go for bigger surfaces uh, I'm using uh, for tanks uh, as I don't have eye brush I try to use this type of brushes uh, bigger ones or I use like this one but this is quite I need to clean this one because it's you see 
this is quite it's too stiff at this moment this one is too stiff okay so but this is uh, again uh um white brass citadel so I, I i use mainly citadel i get used to them uh it they work as i want it uh, i think they're doing the work that i want them to do i'm happy how they perform and yeah and i will uh, uh, and i will keep using them so that's uh, uh, my point my video about brushes and please let me know what do you think what let me put in the comments below what brushes do you like it uh, and yeah and why uh, are the brushes that you're using the ones uh, i think yeah and at the end this brush i think is costing about 15 euros maybe in in dollars is more next to the 20 dollars but they last and i'm using it every day so this brush is being used maybe i i it's just been not been used when i'm traveling but i will say 90 percent of the days on a year so this brush have done more than i don't know how much uh, more than 300 sessions of painting or something like that and i'm using a lot this brush because I, I like to paint with the small brushes i know that is not the right way to do it but i um, get used to that i and i use mainly this brush to paint so you can see that the shape is quite is damaged now it looks a little bit damaged is why i bought new brands but it is still doing the job quite well i st i can still do the eyes of the miniatures with this brush okay so yeah um, very happy how these brushes perform expensive but if you divide by the number of uses you do uh, it's not that expensive at the end so and that's all that's all what i want to talk here um, i hope you find this video interesting useful and yeah and as usual thanks a lot for watching and see you again later bye